Today I wanted to share a workout I did just over a month ago and explain why these exercises are not only great for creating a strong, healthy back, but also how I almost consider them a prerequisite before you go on to build a strong conventional or sumo deadlift. So this particular workout, I had decided to do 100 bodyweight pull-ups. Even though I'm strong enough to do weighted pull-ups with some weight at my waist, I often like to do just more reps so that I get kind of a pump into my bicep tendons. A year and a half ago, I actually tore my bicep tendon completely. And prior to that, I'd actually partially torn it um, in an arm bar at practice, I didn't tap out. Guys, don't be a dummy. It's just practice. Tap out. Let it go. Another go. Anyway, it finally tore about a year and a half ago, and I like to do a lot of high reps to get a lot of blood flow into that area and help strengthen and reinforce that tendon that was surgically repaired. So if you're worried about bicep tendon tears, which you probably should be if you're going to deadlift a lot of weight, this is a great one to do to get some of that extra elbow flexion and also strengthen your back in the meantime. So that's why I do a lot of pull-ups and even considering I could do weighted pull-ups as well. And sometimes I do. This one I started doing a lot more after my powerlifting career, but if I had to do it again, I would have done a lot of my low cable rows and changed them out to this instead. The reason being is you're you really have to activate your core to hold that sandbag. That's really hard to stay solid there. And also the ropes are much more challenging than just holding a bar or even like two grips if you have two different cables. So in a lot of ways, I would consider this superior, especially for something like deadlifting as opposed to like a low cable row or even a bent over row we're using a bar. You have to grip a rope so much harder and secure your grip than you do even a barbell especially when most guys are doing really skinny barbells like maybe a deadlift bar or even a dumbbell this is way harder guys and the fact that you have to think about keeping your core tight like you would need to do in a deadlift it's pretty awesome also you'll see here in a second i would i often do a lot of drop sets where i just tip it drop it and rip out a few more reps so once you do it a couple times you got to be careful at first but you'll get the hang of it and i couldn't recommend an exercise more for building up a really strong deadlift now this one i've always done straight arm pull downs when i started strength training mainly because of for snap downs for wrestling but the reason why they're really important for powerlifting, especially for a deadlift, is it really helps keep that bar in close to you. So the stronger you get in your deadlift, you're going to start to realize you're going to get a lot of like thoracic flexion when you're trying to get that sucker over your, the bar over your knees. And this keeps it in line. And so you don't get too much thoracic flexion. You're trying to, you'll see here in the slower view, I, I purposely made this last set slow. So you guys see how I start to round where I'm losing thoracic extension. So I'll start with really good thoracic extension as I'm pulling there. As the set goes, I'm at, this is my fourth set that I did that day. So I'm doing a lot of volume. You're going to see my back start to round forward and pull forward. Okay. This is important to know because you get fatigued in like in a, in a meet or if you're doing a lot of deadlifts, it's going to start to round over. So keeping your chest up and keeping thoracic extension is a big deal and this is a great way to work that so this one's my elbow flexion exercise i prefer to do usually my arms are toast by the time i do all those pulls whether it's pull-ups rows all that back stuff so the way i do my curls is i actually use a lighter dumbbell and then i will actually start with my palms down my palms in and then my palms up okay so you're always going to use your bicep and your brachioradialis and your brachialis um, in each motion. But by starting palms down, you work your brachialis a little bit more. And then as you rotate up to like a neutral grip right here, it's brachioradialis. And then finally, you're doing um, your biceps brachii. So that's why I do those in particular for 
elbow flexion and I think it's really really helped me evaluate how I'm progressing on my left bicep tendon so I need to supinate more on my left as you can see and that's why I do these exercises guys if you haven't tried these before I definitely recommend them and I will have more videos like this in the near future take care guys peace